Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to give you the easiest method to connect ExpressVPN to either your gaming console, whether it's a PlayStation or an Xbox, and also your TV, whether you have a Samsung TV or an LG TV, it doesn't really matter which, this method is going to cover all of them. Now, there are just a few things that you should know before we get started. First of all, if you have a TV that has something like Google TV, a lot of the Sony ones have this, then you won't even need this video. These TVs are going to give you access to the Play Store, and then you can just go and download ExpressVPN directly onto the TV. The thing is that many TVs, in particular Samsung and LG TVs, do not have this ability. You cannot put the VPN directly on the TV themselves. Likewise, you can't put a VPN on pretty much any gaming console. So that's where the method that I'm going to show you is going to come in. The one thing that you will need to have is a Windows PC. Okay, what we're going to be doing here is basically turning our Windows PC into a router. We're going to be connecting up the console or TV to the VPN that's installed on our computer and then using that internet connection for our TV or console. So that way you can just turn on the VPN in your computer and then automatically your TV or gaming console is going to be connected up to the VPN as well. Now, if you don't already have ExpressVPN installed in your computer, I'll have a link in the description that will take you exactly where you need to go and actually save you some money on top of that. So you can check that out. It's going to be in the description. There will also be a lot more other useful information and links there as well. Once you have ExpressVPN installed, you're going to go to your Windows network and internet settings over here. And there are really going to be two ways that you can connect up your TV or gaming console to your computer. The first one, and maybe the easiest, is with a mobile hotspot. You can just go here, turn on a mobile hotspot, set a username and password and then just remember it because you're going to need it to connect up your device to this hotspot the other method is with an ethernet cable so if you have one of those lying around or you can get one they're not very expensive a couple bucks you can just connect that up to your tv and your computer and then you don't need the mobile hotspot regardless of which way you do it either with an ethernet cable or a hotspot the next thing is going to be to go into your advanced network settings at the bottom over here and then you're going to see all of your network adapters this is everything that can connect to the internet connection on your computer you're you're going to want to go through this list and find the one that says Express VPN Tap Adapter. That's the VPN connection right there. You're going to want to click on it, scroll down a little bit, go to more adapter options and click on edit. This window is going to open up. You're going to go into the second tab where it says sharing, and then you're going to check allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. And what that's going to do is allow anybody connected up to the hotspot that you created or using the ethernet cable to connect to the internet through the VPN. So you're just going to want to go ahead and check that. And then in the drop down menu, either find your Ethernet cable or find the Wi-Fi hotspot. You can know which one is the hotspot because it's going to have that little star next to it. So that's it right there. So you can just click on it and then click OK. And that's all you're going to need to do for the basic setup. All that's going to be left to do is go into ExpressVPN. You're going to go over here in the top left to the options menu. Go to where it says protocol. This is how the VPN connects up to the Internet. And you're going to want to select open VPN UDP. This is just going to allow you to get the best possible connection between your device and the VPN. Now you can just go and activate the VPN. You can go into your smart TV and log into that hotspot or just choose the Ethernet cable. The same thing with your gaming device and you're good to go. You now have the VPN connection working on your smart TV or gaming console. Now, if this was a little complicated for you, maybe it was a little bit technical, feel free to leave a question in the comments below. I'll be happy to explain anything that's not clear or any issue you run into. If you want to help with knowing how you can use this in order to access content from different countries on Netflix or how you can avoid ISP throttling when you're gaming, pretty much anything you want to know, feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. On top of that, if you do want to find out more about ExpressVPN or some of the other top VPNs out there, ExpressVPN isn't the only good VPN that will let you connect up to a TV your gaming console, you can do the same thing with something like NordVPN or Surfshark. If you want to find out more about any of these or if you want a discount link for them, all of that will be in the description below. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope this helped you out. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.